are we are we on hey guys happy vlogmas day 23 i am shook of how far we are okay so today's gonna be a weird day because we're gonna go somewhere but uh i'm gonna go somewhere you guys are not uh, but tomorrow i have some errands to run so i will take you guys some you know those last minute christmas errands you gotta run but tonight Will not be available. I would do a little get ready with me today. Who is ready for vlogmas to be over? Because I'm ready to just be in my prime and like do just makeup videos again. So we're just gonna do like the slightest bit of makeup. Am I gonna go watch Spider Man No Way Home again? Possibly. At the drive in. Um, I really like, I have to find like filler content on what we could talk about. Maybe we'll do like a little makeup moment right now, which is that's what it is. We're just gonna do a little bit of concealer just to look a little awake. This br oh no this brand, it's called Mercy Handy. I've been feeling like everything on my bags with all these things. So good. It's like and it just feels so good on the skin. Like it's not a setting spray, it's just like have and refresh. I've been loving the rare beauty powder, guys. I think she's that one yeah, have you guys been what is going on i hope you guys are well though. i want to try to edit a little bit of this so i don't come home and like tired because the last night guys i went to sleep at four in the morning like i almost just posted the vlog live because i was like barely done editing it but like with hawkeye and everything like filming day of her vlogmas was just a struggle i don't know how we got here because i feel like at the beginning of vlogmas we had like so much time and I was like pre-filming things and everything was great. And then somehow the days just got ahead of me. And now I have nothing. It's like, wow, what more can we do to make this like a little exciting? You know what I mean? Like there's only so much that can be done. Okay, the eye look is very simple. So maybe we'll add some sparkle all around the under eyelid. And I'm literally going to go comfy because comfy's the best. I don't want to like do too much. I started to watch Emily in Paris today. <sighs> Not me buying a bag. <laughs> <laughs> because of Emily in Paris. I feel like I never really talk about luxury things and how much my love and obsession is with it Because I know it's not the most like relatable thing out there. You know what I mean? Like I understand that I know everyone's situation is way different, but I just feel like During quarantine, I feel like I've spent the most money on like stuff like that just because I was like used to going out and going on trips so it's like I saved up and like honestly I booked a trip before COVID even started and I got all that money back and I was just like Well, looks like somebody's getting a new bag I kind of want to incorporate stuff like that to my channel, but in like a settled way. Like I know it's something that's not relatable for everyone, but I want to make it in a way where it's like you could still watch my content. It's not like a whole video dedicated to like something that's luxury. I don't know. Because I, I like videos that are more genuine like that where things aren't being pushed in your face, if that makes sense. And that's what makes me want to buy stuff most of the time too, because I'm like, oh my god, this person likes this. Like, awesome. I want that now. I never really go and like watch like full in-depth videos about stuff like that. So let me know. It's one of my favorite things and I feel like I never have anybody to talk to about things like this besides my mom. <laughs> I think, I think it's going to be a no on the highlighter. I'm going to come right back. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to finish curling my lashes, putting some mascara on and then just curling a piece of my hair because I want my hair to see like this. I like this like ponytail but I want to curl like the front piece of it. And now I feel like this looks too perfect but they will, they will die down. I came back before I finished everything else. We already know she's using Rare Beauty. This mascara is so freaking good, guys. Like, I know I kiss Rare Beauties, but it's fine. It's a thing. But, like, I feel like it's the only mascara that makes me feel good not wearing eyeliner. Because I feel like I always need my wings. I'm very much aware that I do kiss Rare Beauty's booty, but look at this difference. I just want to scream. Does it not move whenever I cry? Trust me. I learned that with Spider-Man Away Home. I'm just wearing this little jumper. Hold on. Uh, it's not coming out. This is my outfit. I feel like I don't know how I like this jumper, but I'm literally just gonna be chilling. It's just really cold. Basically, this is what I mean about like wanting to talk about luxury things, and then it's like still relatable, at least in my aspect. I wish somebody would talk about things like this. Those little lip balms here. Little color balm things have been coming in clutch. Okay, so there's a long process to this bag. So we we're gonna have to get into it. This is the Safina leather. 2005 re-edition bag. We love her. She came back into style. Back into style. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I saw the bag and I was like, I want that bag. But I originally, the bag that I feel like is everywhere on Instagram, everywhere on Pinterest, everywhere on their moms, is the nylon one. Honestly, guys, for the price of this bag, paying for nylon, like I just, I, I personally could not do it. I felt like I might as well pay what is it like five more? like $500 more like obviously they're not the same pricing this one is a little more expensive but it's just something about nylon that I cannot get behind 
and I wanted it but it was also like it's not even just about like the nylon aspect of it it's also the fact that like this bag was also more guided towards the silvery things and I am a gold girl speaking of gold let me get some earrings all of my jewelry is gold I don't own anything silver except for some pearl earrings that have like this little teddy bear on them that are silver besides that it's just like why did my whole clothes jesus i am definitely a gold girl i don't really like silvery things that much that was another big thing because i'm like okay what is this gonna match because you know black goes with everything but i was just like everything i own is gold okay so this is also why i feel like i'm not relatable to talk about things like this because it's like why did i want this bag was it because of this little pocket thing absolutely what do i have in there right now my hand sanitizer can I fit anything else in here? Absolutely not. Actually, oh, we have two things in here. I have my hand sanitized <laughs> and I have a lip balm in here. But does anything really fit in here? No. This is like, what did they fit in here back in the day? Probably like the iPhone. The, the, there weren't iPhones. Those little like Tamagotchi looking phones. The first Blackberry probably fit in here. I don't know. But like, I like this style. And then Louis Vuitton had one too. Because I feel like this is more like a coin purse situation. And I felt like Louis Vuitton had one too, and I was like, I kind of want that one. And it's still on my list, and I want it, but like, I couldn't 100% get behind the nylon for how expensive this stuff is. You know what I mean? I definitely mentioned this in my What's in My Purse video, that like, I love hunting down bags. It's one of my favorite things. Like, last night I was hunting down this bag that I saw in Emily in Paris. She's been a struggle. I'm not going to say what she is, because we're not going to get evil eye on her, because I want the bag. But I'm like trying to look for her like crazy, but I also wonder like did they make this bag specifically for the show? Spoiler alert, I finished Emily in Paris and now I want this bag instead. <laughs> this one is available on Prada, guys. I'm trying so hard to not do it. I'm like, Andrea, stop. Stop it. But the one that I originally wanted, I'm still not going to say what she is because I'm still, I'm going to hunt her down. But this one was just there and I'm like, oh my god. Because yellow is my favorite color, guys. I think I need her, but like I also feel like it's just because yellow is my favorite color. I don't know. <laughs> The addiction is so bad. But um, like I said, if you guys ever need help with things like that, message me on Instagram. I love helping you guys. Actually, somebody reached out from that video and they were like, oh my God, there's this person I really want. And I got it for her. Like, I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but I love her. She's cute. But like the chain, the gold chain is the only thing I don't mess with. Chain clings down here and I feel like it just rubbed against this and it makes so much noise when you're walking. I do, however, like that chain for a nice night out, which with the situation that we're in, I'm not really having nice nights out. I haven't been to a club or like... <laughs> Let's be honest, I don't go to clubs regardless of COVID and things like that. But it's really for like a nice little dinner. Like I like holding up, making that the bag. This is more sporty. This is more what I'm here for. The sportier look. Obviously for pictures and things like that, not to be that person. Like the little chain looks cute, but it just like it's rubbing against this. And I feel like with time and time wear and tear, that might not be good for the bag. One day I have the idea that somebody's going to take me out on a date. And I'm going to rock her without this and just a little bag and a little chain. Anybody wants to take me out on a date? Call me. <laughs> just kidding. Don't do that. I feel just so nice and cozy and I love this jacket. This is my Evermore jacket from Target. So you see why I can't be that girl who talks about luxury products because I'm like, my jacket's from Target, which is fine. But I wish there was more people like this out there, which I know that people do buy things like that, but on YouTube, I'm yet to find somebody who's like, where it's like, yes, you paid so much money for a bag. Like, okay. But then you also buy stuff from Target. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I want to find that person. Not this at Target. I actually got influenced by um, TikTok, this girl. Like, look at this. I wish my hair was braided. It's not. But like, tell me this it doesn't give you ever more vibes. Go on my Instagram, I have a really cute picture that I took like a photo shoot with this. I skipped coffee for the day. Yerba Mate was the move. Anyways, let me know what you guys are up to. Yes, that's my filming light just on my bed because I had nowhere to put it. I am gonna chill here for a minute. I think I'm gonna go finish Emily in Paris for a little bit. I just wanted to start the vlog because I'm not going anywhere to like a couple hours from now. But it is still cold and I wanted to change and just like be ready because I want these girls to like not look like I tried. So oh, let's go finish Emily in Paris. Not sponsored, but Yerba, call me. I will accept. <laughs> I'm gonna watch Emily in Paris and take my laptop with me so we can shop <laughs> at the same time. And I was gonna lay in the living room. It's so bad. The shopping addiction is bad. So I took my jacket off because it's hot in this house. But I think I'm just gonna watch a few episodes of Emily in Paris before I leave. I have like a lot of editing I should do. So I think I'm gonna like start editing this vlog and watch some emily because i need to finish a series um there was something else i was coming on here to say and now i forgot oh that i haven't even had a christmas marathon this year 
Like, I haven't watched the Hallmark Channel at all, and that's all I want. I did watch a couple movies on Netflix, which is fine. But, like, I haven't sat in my living room with all my cute little Christmassy things and had a moment. We'll see where tonight I also do have tickets to this light show thing. Oh, I feel like this angle is just, like, not it. I am home now. Um, I'm gonna cut the vlog short. I mean, I feel like this one was kind of a long vlog, even though all we did was talk. But I'm, like, so ready to film sit-down videos, guys. But tomorrow I will be vlogging the whole day, or at least, like, the second half of the day. But not because I'm doing anything beforehand. Um, I had a lot of fun today. Um, we didn't do the Christmas slide show because it was canceled. But you guys already know how I feel about Spider-Man Away no Home. I'm going to watch this movie a million times. That's like the only movie. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed now because I am very tired. It was a long night. Besties, one more thing. I want to show you guys my um, recap of 2021. It's just a short TikTok video that I made for the actual audio go on TikTok. But I just want to share this with you guys right now since there's not much going on. I'm going to try to slow it down too because it goes super fast on TikTok. <laughs> I think we're just gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.